Hi, I'm Flor Castillo. And I'm Uta Penes. And this is Tell It Like It Is. This week we are discussing recent sexual harassment allegations in Hollywood media and political circles. Recently, Time Magazine named the Silence Breakers their Person of the Year, people responsible for telling their stories of sexual harassment in the past year. For the past few months, powerful and well-known American media and political influencers have been accused of sexual assault. People such as Bill Cosby, Kevin Spacey, Senator Al Franken, Bill O'Reilly, Harvey Weinstein, Matt Lauer, and many others have been accused. Matt Lauer, who was the host for the Today Show since 1977, was fired last week over sexual misconduct allegations. But Lauer isn't the only person who has lost their career over sexual misconduct. Many have been fired or have resigned from their jobs. With many victims of sexual assault standing up to these powerful figures and making their story known, many question these growing accusations will have a long-term effect. Will it change for the victim of sexual assault, or will it impact in the long-term future? We sit down with the Feminist Collective Advisor, Rachel Stavely Hill, to talk about how the sexual harassment discussion has increased since the last couple of years, and how the Feminist Collective is addressing this issue. I don't think that there's more sexual harassment. Um, I think that sexual harassment has always been a problem, um, and I think that we just suddenly seem to have reached a tipping point where now we can talk about it more. Um, and where there are actually consequences for people who are harassers. I'm not entirely sure what it is that's different now that suddenly people are feeling more comfortable coming out and talking about having been victims of sexual harassment. Um, I'm not sure what's shifted culturally that now we're starting to believe that this is a real problem that needs to be addressed. The first piece is, is identifying, yes, this is a problem and um, making sure that there are systems in place for people to report if they have been victims of harassment. I think we need to create safe spaces where people can talk about having been victims of harassment or assault. In planning for Social Justice Week this year, the Feminist Collective is working on a project um, where we're asking students to share with us incidents of sexual harassment that they've faced as a way of personalizing it so that we can see how it actually impacts, you know, not just people in the world, but people here at Northampton High School. As more allegations come to the surface, this country will inevitably have to grapple with the important issue and how this year of the silent breaking will impact American media, culture, and politics. I'm Oda Benes. And I'm Flor Castillo. And this, this was, was Tell It Like It, like it Is. is.